Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, welcome back to Retro Renee's Rendezvous. Um, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Share my video from the title of this video, as you can tell. I am going to be doing a complete wash and condition from start to finish on natural bleached hair. Okay, so about two months ago, I bleached my hair blonde, okay? Because for some reason, I just can't stand black hair. It don't, it don't brighten me up or nothing. So I went to a new lady in Arizona. The color came out beautiful. I'm gonna insert a video right now. However, a week and a half after I got my color, I got a cornrow ponytail. And while I had that ponytail in for six weeks, I started noticing that my hairline was breaking. And I started feeling like, is my hair breaking off? I was keeping it moisturized, I was keeping it oiled. But I really, truly won't know how much my hair is damaged until after I do this wash and condition routine. I am going to use some Miel products and uh, it's Miel Moisture RX Hawaiian Ginger. I'm going to start with the Overnight Moisturizing Conditioner. I want to show y'all my hair before. This is what I mean by I think my hairline is breaking completely and this is two months of new growth so i just took the braids out two days ago and that's how much new growth i got my hair is dirty i haven't This is the before. <laughs> I hope it ain't broke off, but if it is, I'm still not gonna stop getting my color. <laughs> Terrible, huh? So, now we about to find out. Okay, I just finished sectioning my hair. Now I am spraying it with a water bottle just to dampen my hair. And now I'm about to go in and apply the overnight conditioner to each section using a copious amount. I usually start at the roots and then work my way down, even though the instructions did say start at the ends and work your way up. But I make sure I have tons of coverage on every strand that's why I parted it in small sections. And now I'm just going through, putting it on there using a wide tooth comb to gently comb from the ends on up to the root. Um, basically just to try and detangle it enough to twist it in a little twisty. Um, during this portion, usually a lot of the dead hair sheds um, which is a good thing. And now I'm just twisting it up so I can move on to the next section. This part is really time consuming, but I'm going to leave this conditioner in my head all day. Or if I started it at night, I would leave it in all night. All right. So now I'm about to do this with all the sections of my head with this overnight conditioner. So now... We're going to start on this front, baby. 
So my hair grows, but I can't seem to keep the retention. Like, as you can see, my hair grows here, but I can't keep it healthy down here on my ends. And I really don't know what to do because I wrap my, I mean, I cover my hair every night. I keep it oiled and moisturized like none other. I wear protective hairstyles all the time except maybe once or twice a year. I don't put a lot of heat on my hair. I probably blow dry four times a year and probably flat iron twice a year. So I don't feel like that's an excessive amount of heat. But maybe it is. Hold on. I just go in. I said put it on the the tips to the roots, but that's easier for me to put it on from root to tip. Comb it from the ends. To the roots. Oh, that's a big old. Hmm. I got lint everywhere. I had me a blunt rolled up after this whole task. See this part, my curl. Mm -hmm. All right, so first part is done. Got all the overnight conditioner in, my hair twisted, and I'm about to put on the, what you call that thing? Plastic cap. I will see y'all this evening. All right, y'all. This is, I'll put this in at 8 o'clock. 
it is now six o'clock p.m and this is the overnight condition so i'm just gonna untwist and rinse out and wash and condition my hair It's super soft. Let me see. Oh, wow. Now I'm about to go in with a second wash. I definitely gotta go in with a second wash. Because I have not washed my hair since I got, I got those cornrows in and I kept those in for about six or seven weeks.
Okay, I'm about to go in with my moisturizing scalp treatment. Hope y'all can see that. Hawaiian ginger. I just apply this to the scalp in between the sections that I parted. Gotta get some oil to that scalp, baby. So, next thing I'm gonna do is go through and detangle with my little girl's Cantu for Kids conditioning detangler. So, I'm gonna just put, spray this stuff. thing I'm gonna do is I got some hair butter now this is all the Miel Hawaiian Ginger Moisture RX <sighs> smells so good and I also have the Hawaiian Ginger Moisture Rising Leave-In Conditioner okay I'm going to go in with the leave-in first. About this much. And I put a whole lot of leave-in conditioner. I'm gonna go in with this hair butter in hopes that my dry hair will be like, oh, I'm getting some moisture. Oh, look out. Okay. All right, y'all, last section, and then this video is done. smells so good bro. and gotta get these edges it's on the bald head small head on my edges now I got y'all but I'm gonna be good This is the hair butter. Oh, my scalp feels so tingly and so good right now. And the smell is just amazing. Oh, yeah, I did it.
All right. Officially done with my hair wash day with Miel Hawaiian Ginger Moisture RX products for natural but bleached hair. Y'all, I'm happy. Ooh, I'm happy. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to see more content like this, be sure to let me know by dropping a comment down below. As always, I appreciate y'all for watching, and I definitely appreciate you for subscribing. But until next time, deuces.